Hi, and welcome back to The Rubber Room. My name's Chris Colley, and I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, and today it's Watch It Wednesday in The Rubber Room. Today I'm going to share with you this great little technique using our new Tulips framed embossing folder. And what I'm going to do is to show you how to make your tulip frame in any size. I did see a written tutorial for this that was posted by Sharon Field, who is another Stampin' Up! demonstrator. And I really liked it, so I decided to try it. It came out so nice that I'm going to be sharing this technique with some other Stampin' Demonstrator friends tonight. So I decided it might be a good time to share it with my customers and blog readers. To start off with, the um, Stampin' Up! Tulip Frame Embossing Folder measures 5 and a quarter by 4 and 1 8. And that is the total width and length of the tulip frame that is on this embossing folder. Now for this particular card that I'm going to be doing with my group tonight, the part that I want to have the tulip frame, which is this part right in here, and you can see where I've added the little tulip frame border on it, and I want that piece to end up being three and one quarters by four and one eighth. So I have cut a piece of Whisper White cardstock for my demonstration so that hopefully you'll be able to see it better. And I've left myself about an eighth of an inch to play with that I will, will trim off there later. So uh, this piece that I'm going to cut and show you how to use your frame on is actually only going to be three and three eighths inches by four and one eighth inch. And again, my final piece will end up being three and a quarter by four and one eighth. So to start off with, what you're going to do is take your four and one eighth inch side of your paper, which is going to be this long side here, and you're going to insert that into your tulip frame embossing folder. You want to get it right at your edges and be sure that it is straight on there. And I am using the side of the embossing folder that says Stampin' Up! down in the corner. And then I'm just going to close my embossing folder. And you can see I've gone right up to the very edge at the top and along both sides. I'm right at the very edge on both sides there. And then what I'm going to do is put it through my Big Shot. I do have my platform here and a clear acrylic piece. I'm going to set that right on top of it and put another clear acrylic piece on top of that. I'm going to put it all the way through my Big Shot. and send those pieces back. And now you can see what I have here is that framed tulip embossing folder on the top edge and along both side edges of it. But I do not have it at the bottom edge. So what I'm going to do is flip this piece of white cardstock over and I'm going to reinsert it into my embossing folder. When you get it lined up where your embossed frame already is, it will kind of stop there because your embedded image will then be set right into the embedded images of the embossing folder. And so you can see this is actually my paper at the top of it goes right up to the crease or fold in my embossing folder. So then what I'm going to do is put it back through my Big Shot. I don't want to put it all the way through my Big Shot because it will flatten out the embedded tulips at the bottom of it. So I'm just going to put it through until it's about three quarters of a turn. Again, I don't want to go all the way to the edge of my embossing folder. And then I'm going to run it back through. And when I take my piece of cardstock out, I am going to have it embossed all the way around all four sides. I do have a, an extra little piece, and if you'll remember, that is the 1 8 inch that I left to play with or trim at the end of it. That piece allows me to just get these lined, these little tulips lined up inside my embossing folder. So then I'm simply going to take my paper snips, and I'm going to trim right along that embossed edge of my paper there. 
I'm just going to trim that whole side. And that's going to give me the size piece that I wanted in the first place, which is going to be the three and a quarter by four and one eighth. So you can see I have a perfect little rectangle that is smaller than my embossing folder, but I did get my tulips to emboss all the way along the frame of it. I hope that you've enjoyed this little trick tutorial today, and you'll be stopping by the Rubber Room again soon to see what's happening in the Stampin' Up! world. Thanks, and have a great Wednesday.